It's time for a collection highlight! Ha ha! So, being a child of the mid-80s to the early 90s, I've held onto a lot of pretty cool stuff. <laughs> Some stuff was lost in yard sales. <gasps> but thankfully, the stuff that I did hold onto, to be more specific, Game Boys. Now, my parents did have an Atari when I was growing up, but this was my very own, my first video game system. And yeah, it still works. These were and still are some of my favorite games, especially Pokemon Blue. I also still have my Game Boy Pocket, my Game Boy Color, my Game Boy Advance, and my Game Boy Advance SP. Countless hours and so many memories playing these on road trips, staying up past bedtime when I shouldn't have. And I really do not miss these. Backlit screens are a gift. So yeah, I'm just glad I've held onto those all these years. Now, many of you have mentioned your video game collections in the past, so make a video, tag me. I want to see them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go check out on Bulbasaur. It's time for a collection highlight. And no, this one isn't wrestling themed. I just really like this microphone. Sorry. So as you may know, I love Ninja Turtles. I've been playing with them since childhood, and I've still got some of my old ones. And not only do I really love the vintage classic stuff from when I was a kid, I really love the new stuff, too. And when I say new, I don't mean the new cartoons. I mean tributes to the 1990 movie and the original cartoon. NECA has been making these for a little while now, and they are so rad. <gasps> Calabunga! And not just solo figures. These two packs are so dope! The original movie was a huge part of my childhood, so I had to have the man himself, Casey Jones, and Raphael in his disguise. <gasps> oh, yes! And like I said, not just the movie, but updated figures based on the original cartoon. <gasps> Slash! From the paint job to the outlines to make it look like it's right out of the cartoon, NECA has done a killer job. And in my opinion, the figure that comes in the two-pack with Slash is way better. Leatherhead. Such a good figure. All figures come with all sorts of accessories, interchangeable hands, all sorts of stuff. So keep up the good work, NECA, because these are... It's time for a collection highlight! You know what? Instead of talking about these jackets from Chalkline, I'm just gonna show them to you, okay? You know what? I think it's time for a collection highlight! Now I don't have a theme in mind for today, so it's gonna be a hodgepodge of stuff. Just etc. <laughs> you know? Random. And to start things off, and we're starting off strong, this throwback Toy Story Lego set from 2010. Woody and Buzz to the rescue. He's got the rocket strapped to his back. They're on RC. It's amazing! <laughs> when you put the original Buzz next to the newer one they have from the mystery blind bags of minifigures, he got cosmetic surgery. Look at his head. His entire head went from movie accurate to Lego style. Weird. Moving on. Next up we have a Gotham PD badge from Gotham. Authentic. You know, for all those times I need to uh, fictionally enforce the law. Oh, huge pork Funko Pop. <laughs> Why? I also found a ton of my old little mini Star Wars figures I used to collect. Yep, yep. And last but not least, an outfit change. <laughs> Slice! Look, I'm sorry. The, the claws I have are packed right now, so y you get razors, bub. Slice! 